so um i'm just walking around and i had got this um I'm about to go to the store and then i'm going home i had got this um website that um asked people to write different kind of stuff mostly screenplays and the, and the pay is different some of them started like an option some of them started five thousand it the pay is different for most of the um most of the stuff so It's one, it's one, like, I guess you would call it writing, I don't know, gig, I'm going to say a writing gig, I don't know, but it's requesting a screenplay about a, a young boy, so, um, when I was in Atlanta, I met this man, I forgot who he told me his name was, he, he kind of semi-famous. And, uh, he was like, I, he was like, he must have heard of me because I was having lunch. And he came and had lunch. And it seemed like a real coincidence because when I tell you he was grubbing his behind off, he was grubbing. So it seemed like he was coincidence. But he was talking to me about filmmaking. He was like, I wrote this screenplay. He sent me all the information. I got this email with, like, all his contact information. He sent the screenplay. And he sent a whole other bunch of attachments. So I still have it, even though we didn't work together. But I haven't, I haven't talked to him, like, in a, um, I don't know, over a year. But it was about a boy, a young boy. It was real good. I thought it was real good. He was like, I said, I'm trying to get into filmmaking. And I think I missed, I think I actually not just missed the opportunity, talk myself out of a lot of money. Because he was like, would you produce my film for me? But at the time, I was thinking, I know, he telling me this. And I'm thinking, I never produced a film before. How I'm gonna raise the funds for it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm but now that I think about it, since he asked me to produce it, he's very wealthy man. He may have financed it. And I, I said my ass there. Lord forgive me for cursing. I said my behind right there. For real, and talk myself. I think I talked myself out of some money in a real opportunity. Instead of just talking about, oh, I never actually produced a film before, but I just have some screenplays I've written and I'm hoping to produce them. You know, I'm just sitting there, man, that was a, that was a hard learning experience. Well, I used to have a teacher say, you got to fake it till you make you out of anger you know what you're talking about. So I'm talking myself out of, out of a lot of money and a great opportunity, but... I don't think he ever got it, got it produced. He, I guess he, uh, he wanted it on his own bookshelf, you know what I'm saying? But I'm, I don't know if I'm asking. I, I would like to make some modifications to it and submit it to this person that's online requesting a screenplay about a bar if he would, if he would, if he would let me do it. 
Because I think it could be, you know, something. That, well, I could at least find out if the person is interested in it. But I would like, I would like to ask him if it's okay. So I might, I might, you know, contact him and see how he would feel about that. But they're requesting a screenplay about, you know, a young boy. I don't know why about a young boy, but that's that's what they requested. And they producing it, you know what I'm saying? I think the pay is like I forgot how much the pay was. I think the pay was an option with a share of the profits or something. I don't know. But I would like to go ahead and submit the screenplay he had gave me. It was really great. I really thought it was so adorable. It was a racial thing. It was a really cool guy. It's a white guy. And he was telling me this story about how when he was young, Martin Luther King had came to Washington for the, what's that, the memorial? What was that they did, that big old thing with Martin Luther King did, the march on the memorial or something? I don't know. Lord forgive me for not knowing my history. And he was telling me, um, He was just graduating high school. And he said after that graduation, he ran, him and his friends ran all the way down to the memorial. And he said, you know, sitting right next to Sammy Davis Jr. on the steps. Right while they was, that's what he said. He said, I was sitting right next to Sammy Davis Jr. And, uh, real cool white guy. And, uh, older guy but the story is about is about a black little boy I forget I didn't really I don't remember exactly but I have the screenplay but anyway I don't want to tell a man business you know and, a, and an old, a, old white man they you know learn from each other so I'm going to see how he would feel about that. I probably could come up with my own. You know, I, I mean, off the top of my head right now, if I had to think of a story about a little boy, what would it be about? You know, a little boy that does what? I don't know. I don't want to base everything off my own personal experience. Well, you know, a lot of times, I see little boys walk up and down the street. I never let my kids go anywhere. I not, never. If, if they, if, I know my daughter was driving when she was 12. She'd be in my truck driving. People say, people call me. She even wrecked it one time. She didn't really wreck it. She hit, she hit somebody. And it just left a ding on their car. But, but just as far as let my children walk up and down the street, I, I just be looking at that. I don't know what I could do out with something like that. You know, a young boy spends his time aimlessly, you know, when school is out. I don't know what I could do with something like that. I guess I would have to sit down and see what I could come up with if I had to come up with my own story about a young boy. You know, maybe I could come with something whimsical, but I don't think that's what they're looking for. I remember I read this story when I was young. And I, if I ever find it again, I'm going to keep it on. My, I'm going to go buy it and get, put it back on my bookshelf. Oh, I love that book. It was about an Indian little boy. And... It was winter time, and he talks about the cabin and how they would kill a bear, and they would take the fur and make a rug or a coat, and they would take the meat and make this big, this bear stew. And I mean, it just fascinated me the whole story from start to finish of life as a Native American and what happened in the cabinet they had and how they would sit in front of the fire and 
you know, how they would make shoes and it, I, I just was so fascinated by the book. I, I had no idea what what the name of it was. I don't remember, but if I, if I find it again, I'm going to definitely keep it on my bookshelf. I guess I would have to sit down and just try to think of what I could come up with if I was going to do it myself. But I might email him and see. See how he would feel about that. Yeah, that was an opportunity. I missed. I talked myself right out. He was like, I want you to produce it for me. I was like, I ain't never produced nothing. <laughs>